Alright guys, so after a brief hiatus from the Dokkan leaking scene, it would appear that I seriously is back in business and man did he come back with a bang because he has some pretty insane leaks for us today. So essentially the next version of the app for Dokkan is 4.2.0 at least on the JP side and uh, essentially this is all just preparation for the 4 year anniversary on JP and according to both I seriously and Team Dokkaner this anniversary is going to be even bigger than the 3 year anniversary last year which if you remember was absolutely insane it was LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, Harunga, um, just lots of great stuff so that was a really big anniversary but according to them they both think that this is going to be even bigger so the four year anniversary hype train at least for JP right now has officially begun for global we're going to wait for a bit we're not going to get too crazy hyped right now because it's still about six months away and there's a lot of stuff between now and then we still got the Broly and the Gogeta Blue coming so I'm not gonna get too excited about the anniversary stuff for Global yet but for JP it's in full swing so like I said 4.2.0 is coming soon and I seriously found a few interesting things in the game files that would seem to indicate some really really major changes that are on the way so let's just translate this real quick so he says, here is what is potentially expected for 4.2.0 and therefore the four year anniversary, I imagine. So let me just be clear that these are leaks, right? Nothing is 100% confirmed. Things could always change. But um, these guys, I mean, generally speaking, have always been fairly accurate with their information. So I, I like, I have a lot of confidence in, in, these, in this information. So first things first, BGM schedules. So as far as BGM schedules go, he's thinking, it might be voices or voice acting in this game and uh man that would be that'd be huge because <laughs> dogon is coming on four years as a game right in the app store or in the google play store and we've never had voice acting in this game up to this point so the fact that we may potentially be getting voice lines or voice acting or like just voices in super attacks or in stories or something like that absolutely insane so what i'm thinking right now is that the new characters that they release for the 4 year anniversary, whoever it's going to be, whether it be uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta or I I'm just saying Super Saiyan 4 because I feel like it goes along with the theme of the 4 year anniversary, right? But either way, whatever new character that they're releasing for this new celebration, I feel like they might be the first characters to ever have voice lines in this game and that would be awesome I mean of course people are already super hyped about whatever new characters are gonna bring us for the 4 year anniversary but to make them even more enticing than they already would be voice acting guys voice acting potentially for new upcoming characters maybe they'll even add them for older characters as well maybe the more popular ones um, I mean as far as characters that need or units that need overhauls <laughs> LR Gohan definitely needs one. His super attack definitely needs to be reworked. And uh, it'd be nice if they added some voice lines for him as well. Um, maybe all the LRs will, will start with, they'll start with all the LRs and give them voice lines first. I don't really know. I'm just like talking, you know, just, just out of excitement. Like I don't really have any information, anything to back up what I'm saying right now. But the potential for voices in this game is huge. And I'm very, very excited for that. Number two, we have ultimate specials or active skills which he thinks might be some kind of new game mechanic. Now, we don't have any additional information aside from these files or these labels really in the game files, but I mean, <laughs> this could mean that they're actually making major, major overhauls to the core gameplay mechanics, which is pretty insane for a game that's almost four years old, right? But it's totally welcome. I've been complaining for the longest time that Dokkan is definitely, definitely getting uh, a little bit stale. I think the the bubble popping mechanics is is in need of some kind of overhaul. I've been saying this for a long time, actually, ever since like the three year anniversary. Um, so that is massive as well. That this this is crazy. Like I didn't expect them to make pot potentially like so many freaking changes. Um, I mean, it's like stuff you talk about, stuff to talk about with your friends, stuff you complain about when you're talking about like things that you wish could be better. But it feels, it seems like these changes are all like actually on the way. They're actually coming, and it, and it's just it's just weird to like have these things to talk about actually start coming to fruition. Anyways, uh, potential voice voice lines, potential new game mechanics, ultimate specials. Maybe like instead of like super attacks, there's like ultimate attacks, like even further beyond than the like ultra supers that LRs have. 
like like a secondary super. It's just like uh, if you guys played Naruto Blazing, or you are like Naruto Blazing fans, you have like a regular like super attack or whatever they're called. But you also have like an ultimate jutsu as well, right? So maybe Dokkan is going to be implementing that as well for newer characters in the future. That'd be sick. And uh, also different skills. I don't know, like, maybe like secondary passives or... I don't know, like there's so many possibilities, right? And last but not least, we have wallpaper items. So he's thinking it's wallpapers. I don't, I don't really know what that's all about, to be honest. Uh, maybe we'll be able to change... Ooh, actually, maybe we'll be able to change the backgrounds for cards. That'd be sick, because I know a lot of people are really, really tired of the diamond background for the URs, right? So maybe they'll actually allow us to keep the old backgrounds, or maybe like they'll have new backgrounds that can add to certain cards and actually make them look better than just like that, you know, random ass <laughs> uh, diamond background that every UR gets right now. So that'd be, that'd be a welcome addition as well. So basically what I'm trying to say is 4.2.0 and uh, as we get closer to the four-year anniversary on JP, it's gonna bring a lot of changes. Um, as soon as more information comes out, I will definitely keep you guys informed. I'll make sure that I provide all the most up-to-date information for you guys whenever it's available. For the time being though, get hyped. Lots of big changes coming to Dokkan. Four-year anniversary is like less than a month away for JP, and uh, it's very exciting. I'm, I'm really excited. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about all this information, even though Nothing's really confirmed, <laughs> and it's all a little bit up in the air right now. Um, I have faith in I seriously, I have faith in Team Dokener, and I know these guys, you know, would never lead us wrong, at least on purpose. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes things change, like, <laughs> they're not 100% accurate, but they're like 99% accurate, and I feel pretty confident in this information. So for the time being, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel. If you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.